You ready to see it? Say what? It's Vlogmas 2019 day one! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Are you excited? That's good news, yes. What a oh, great no. start to the to the vlogmas. But yeah, exciting. it's day one. That was the last weekly vlog. Is this the intro? Yeah, this is the this intro. This is the intro. This is the intro right now. That's pure. Well, what, what do you mean? No, I've recorded me like Christmassy stuff, making my tea and things. I've recorded <laughs> things right. today. Anyway, yeah. It's it, good. What's that in your head? It's Batiste. Is it? Yeah. It's the same Batiste I use every day. No, it's... Different smell. Is it? This is a this is the best start of Vlogmas ever. Matthew sniffing my head. Anyway, welcome to my channel, guys. If it's, if you are joining me for Vlogmas and haven't actually been to my channel before, then that was probably not a very good intro. <laughs> Never mind. This was here yesterday, so that's not embarrassing at all. Yeah, guys, it's Vlogmas, the start of Vlogmas. Um, I know I recorded this morning, but it is later in the day now. Yeah, I Twitch streamed, then Matthew came home, then I edited the weekly vlog, got that up. 20 past four, so now we can actually start the day. <laughs> 20 past four. Well, there was not much to record Twitch streaming and editing the weekly vlog. Me and Matthew are gonna get the Christmas decorations out, and we're gonna make this the most Christmassy vlog miss ever, aren't we? Yes. It's gonna be... Do you have to make so much noise? Sorry. We're gonna make it nice and Christmassy. We're gonna open my calendar. I'm excited for December. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this Christmas and this Vlogmas. And a week today we'll go to Disney. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that actually. So if you are, if you are joining my channel just to join in with my Vlogmas and you haven't been to my channel before, then hello, my name is Sarah. This is Matthew. He's super annoying, but he is my boyfriend. I'm stuck with him. And I think this is my third year doing Vlogmas, possibly my fourth, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna do Vlogmas, I'm gonna upload a vlog every day, apart from when I go to Disney next week. It's so much noise coming from you right now. So when I'm in Disney next week, I will not upload because I will be recording separate Disney vlogs. Then when I get back, I'll get straight back on with the vlogs and I'll get the Disney vlogs up just before Christmas. I'll probably split them into two days like last time. So yeah, that is the plan. I think if you watched my weekly vlog yesterday, you'll have seen that I opened up some coats, a navy one and a burgundy one. The burgundy one's going back, but I'm keeping the navy one. And I ordered another coat. Basically, I'm trying to get some nice new coats for Disney to keep me nice and warm and pretty looking in pictures. So the cream one that I ordered from ASOS has just arrived. So let's go and check out this coat. And then we're gonna go and get the decorations out of the garage and put the tree up. I'm excited. Are you excited? Uh, I don't like going in the garage. Matthew doesn't like going in the garage because he thinks it's full of spiders. Which, to be fair, it it, it does have spiders in it. But I'm gonna go and try this corn first, on. Yeah. And then we'll uh, then we shall do the tree and make it look missy and Christmassy. Look at me running up the stairs. Right, package. So here's the package. I'll stick you over there and we'll open it up. I'm having flashbacks to last vlogmas. I'm sure I opened up a big green fluffy coat on Vlogmas last year. I can't remember. Did anyone watch last year? All right, let's get this open. Ain't this new me builds this new. Okay, it is another big boy package. Big boy. This one might be bigger than the blue one, which is incredible because that blue coat, if you don't know what I'm on about, I, I um, you need to watch, you need to watch my weekly vlog or my Instagram stories. I uh, ordered some coats and tried them on in my weekly vlog yesterday. And I ordered a navy one and a burgundy one. Burgundy one's going back, but the navy one I'm keeping. I have ordered it in a bigger size though to see if I like the bigger size, but regardless, I'm keeping one of them. And then I've ordered this cream one as well. So this is not gifted or sponsored or anything like that. I bought this myself. Okay, so it's, it's, oh, it's a big boy. It's already darker than what I thought. Um, Like it is cream, but it looked more white cream on the website, which I'm not bothered about. It's still, really nice it looks lighter on camera all right let's get it it's big you guys know i like to oversize if you don't i oversize in my coats so i oversized and i bought a size 18. i tend to like my coats in a size 20 but there was no 20 in this coat there was just an 18. oh it's fluffy oh it's fluffy okay it's probably going to be better if i just show you what on at the um the mirror so let's try this on at the mirror so that clips into that there i don't like them like that right let's try this on okay let's 
put you up a little bit. So we'll just ignore the fact that the um the light thing is there. Just looking at it already, I know what I'm like, and I think I would have preferred the size 20. Uh oh, I don't know. Mm, I don't know. Right. First impressions is it's already a lot darker then oh, i don't know what do you guys think so i don't like the buttons however i don't actually think they'll unclip i did think they would unclip and uh, the pockets are quite low like it might not look like it but i can feel that my hand at the back there isn't in the pockets should be here but they are here and i almost have to bend down to touch the bottom and then lift the coat back up so the pockets are quite low. I don't know, there's something about it that isn't like, it feels very open here. So you definitely need a big scarf. Like it's not gonna keep you warm there. I feel like it needs another clippy. Maybe if it clipped again there, I like that look better because then that's a big teddy bear. Um, It's quite open. I don't know, there's just something about it. You know what it is, for how big it is, it looks a little too structured instead of like, flumpy and squishy just big it's not like it doesn't just it's quite thick so it doesn't just fold and look like squishy comfy like that i, can't, I don't know if that makes sense uh, let's have a look how much was it 64 i don't know how much i'm feeling that to be honest i have to be really careful with the camera now because the back screen is breaking because a, a little screw fell out and if this camera breaks i legit don't know what i'll do because I can't afford to replace it because it's £600. <laughs> so anyway, this is it here. You know what it is? It is, it's just, because of how thick it is, it doesn't really like bunch up. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's just like a big box. Can you see that? So like my other big oversized coat from Primark, my brown one that I love, is a lot more... Um, like it just kind of like bunches up because it's a slightly thinner material. It's not a thin coat, but if you look, this is quite like, I can't explain it. It's like thick and see how it's just sticking out. Like it doesn't bunch up and look big and cozy. It looks structured and baggy. This is from ASOS. I'll link it below if anyone's interested, but I think I'm going to send this one and I'm still going to send the burgundy one back. It's hanging there and um, that I showed you guys yesterday. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go and check out my wiki vlog. So, so far I have the navy coat and possibly, I don't know, really all, all I have at the minute is the navy coat. It's kind of like Del Boy vibes, you know? Update, Matthew's keeping the cream one. <laughs> you think it's like Del Boy vibes? It looks better on you. I'm confused. It actually, like, now, now that I'm seeing it on you, I mean, you're broader than me, so maybe it doesn't look as boxy on you. You clearly like it. Step back so I can have a look. Would you wear it? No. Yeah, you would. You so would. Look at your face, you would. I think it needs to colour up, though, doesn't it? Move back, then. <laughs> it's, oh, it looks oh. like it fits you better. These are my coat choices. You like that one then? Yeah, this one. Yours looks like a dressing gown or like a towel or something. Matthew thinks this one looks like a dressing gown and he likes that one better. But I think it looks better on you. I mean, you look warm, mate. Yeah, it's pretty comfy. You look warm. Do you want to try this one on? No. <laughs> Should we put the tree up now? Right, guys, I was literally just about to go out to the garage there and then I seen out of the corner of my eye my advent calendar. I left it at the top of the stairs this morning to remember to do it and I've just spotted it. So I've literally sat down at the top of the stairs and we're gonna open up my advent calendar. Matthew's gone out to the garage to start like opening it up and see where the decorations are so we can get them down. So we'll do the advent calendar and then we'll do the tree. So Primark really kindly gifted me this advent calendar a few weeks ago. It is a Disney Christmas bauble calendar and I believe it has lots of little Mickey baubles in it. I don't know what color comes out first. I do already have a lot of these baubles but I'm guessing these are different for this year. So what I thought we could do is I'm going to open an advent calendar with you guys and on my Instagram stories. I still need to do my other advent calendar. I have a Disney store reusable advent calendar. Um, Matthew fills it for me every year, but we haven't managed to fill it yet and it's still in the garage. So we're going to get that down and then I'll be opening that up tomorrow with the Instagram stories. So I'm already one day behind the advent calendar. 
Um, but it's in the garage, so I can't get it out yet. But with you guys, because you guys are coming back every day for Vlogus, I am going to open up this calendar with you guys. I mean, I might switch. I might alternate. I don't know. I think it would be nice to just keep doing this one with you guys every day. And then Instagram stories can get the other advent calendar. It's, you know, in Disney Store, when you get the ones that are reusable with the little drawers. And Matthew fills it up and puts chocolates in it for me every year. So... Yeah, he's going to have to fill that up for me tomorrow and I'll start doing that one from the second. Anyway, I'm thinking out loud. So, yes, like I said, it's little baubles and I have a little pink tree, which is also still in the garage. And every day we're going to get a bauble off and put it on the little pink tree. So we're going to get the bauble out today, but I might not actually be able to put the bauble on until tomorrow's vlogmas on the little pink tree. The pink tree is really cute. I got it from Asda for like a tenner and it already has lights on it. So what we'll do is we'll open up door number one and get the bauble out. But because the tree is still in a box in the garage somewhere and I have the other tree to decorate first, we'll get the bauble out and then tomorrow when we open door two, we'll get the next bauble out and then we'll put them both on the tree, the little pink tree and start off the tree every day for the rest of Vlogmas. So where is day one? Where is door number one? It's so dark in here. Okay, I legit can't find door one. What? There it is. Door. It's so much lighter on camera. Door number one. Let's open it out. Door number one. Oh, ooh, it's ripped a little bit. Oh, it's a little like white glittery one. Oh, that's really pretty. I don't have one like that. Urgh, come out. Oh, it's really pretty. Look, it's like white glittery. How nice is that? I really need to sort my nails out. Oh, that is so cute. So every single bauble is this shape and then every day I guess it's just going to be a different colour. So I'm going to put this in the safe place and tomorrow when we open up door number two, we will put them both on the Christmas tree. Because like I said, I don't have the tree out of the garage yet. Um, so we'll put them both on the tree tomorrow. And yeah, apologies that we don't have, I don't have the tree out ready. But let's go and do the Christmas decorations and make it Christmassy. <laughs> What are you doing? So we got most of it down, haven't we? But the tree's right at the back and we can't reach it. Up you get. <laughs> Well, me and Matthew have just had dinner and all the decorations are out. So I'm going to pull out everything in this corner and start getting the tree up. I'm not going to lie, I'm probably just going to end up doing most of it because Matthew is scared of touching decorations because they might have spiders on. Did you just shake your heads? Yeah. Don't pretend that's not true. You should have seen him getting the stuff. Well, you probably did see him getting the stuff down. He's such a baby, aren't you? As if you admit that, right? I'm gonna start pulling everything out and start getting the tree and everything up. We still have a pumpkin from Halloween. and the lights. 
Matthew isn't really much of a fan of putting up Christmas decorations. He finds them tacky and unnecessarily messy. Don't you, darling? It's true. But I'm going to keep going with it because I like it. I'm going to do the bulbers on my own now because Matthew's got to go to bed. Because uh, he's got work tomorrow. But Matthew is supposed to look at all of our bulbers that we've collected over the years. It's fun to get them out. You get worse every year. You're such a bar humbug. I've managed to get quite far. I'll show you it properly in a second. But all that's left is this box. And this is my Disney store baubles. These are my more expensive Disney store baubles. These are my Disney collection baubles. Apart from that one, I'm not sure why that's in there. That was just a Poundland one. Um, but these were like a collection. Was that gifted? I think that one might have been gifted. Iron Man. Yeah, and these ones are my expensive ones, so I'm gonna get them out. I have unwrapped my special baubles. Just in time for Matthew to come down and put up our special ones that we put up together, don't we? So you probably can't see from here, but there's one with our names on that we put on. That one says Sarah and that one says Matthew. And we put them on at the same time together every year. Because Matthew's mum gave us them when we were apart at uni, didn't she? You don't remember that, do you? Yeah. <laughs> There's only one broken one today, this year. Ah, that I just unwrapped it and it was like that, so... In the um, bin? No, I'll just glue oh, it back oh, on. It's broke. It's pretty. It's broke. No, you're such a bar humbug Grinch. This is the most Christmas, happiest, welcomest ever and you're ruining it. I'm being reasonable. There are too many baubles right now. Matthew, grab Christmas by the baubles. There's so many of them though. Right, I'm going to put up my special ones now. Do you like the up one, darling? That was your favourite. Yeah, I like the up one. That's my special keys. Before everybody started collecting keys and I was just putting them on the tree. And just a couple of special ones. That's one's from Disneyland Paris, but then they brought it over to the store. And then these ones were gifted to me by a Disney store, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to put these ones up now. It's star time. And then I'm just going to put a few more candy canes on and it's done. Come on then, man of the house. Mr. Bun used to do this. <laughs> How dare you. <sighs> I remember it being heavy and you had to like double it over. Yeah, never mind. Like you have to... I know. I yeah. Know. Every year, darling, it's the same thing. And then you stick that star up as Jaxie. Oh. I mean, the light, I meant the light. It's always a red light at the top as well. Yay! Merry Christmas! Uh, yeah? Not too, too I'll, confused, I'll sort it out a little bit. Yeah. I remember I shoved it all the way back up behind the star. Yeah. There we go, that's fine. Very nice. Well done, darling. You're so clever, aren't you? Do you like it? It's very pretty. I mean, it's a bit... What? You know. I like it like that. That is me. A yeah. lot of colour and a lot it's going you. on. It's you. Seems to stress you though. You don't seem to like it. <laughs> You're such a pest. Love you, darling. Love you, darling. And I am finally all finished. I have hung these here for now. I think they'll be okay there. I'm going to get a new candle for my candle holder in the morning. How cute is my candle holder? It's a Yankee Candle one, but the candle's just home bargains. Um, this is last year's Primark, 25 days until Christmas. How pretty does the tree look? I need to tidy and put all the boxes away. I've put them in a pile. There's still loads up here. I need to sort everything out and put everything back in the garage. But yeah, it looks really good. And Matthew put the star on top. I decided to put them up there because the tree was pretty full and they are pretty big, so. Looks a bit weird, but it's better than nowhere. So it's now 10 to 12. It's quite late. It's taken me quite a while to do that. I mean, I've been sitting on my phone and um, watching a bit of Gossip Girl and stuff. I'm absolutely knackered. Um, I've piled all the boxes up and I'm gonna finish it all off tomorrow. It's quite late, like it's late now, it's 10 to 12. I'm really knackered, but I'm glad that the tree is up and the decorations are out. So tomorrow I just need to put away all of the packaging 
and I'm going to put away some ornaments that are normally in the sitting room and replace them with Christmas ornaments for December. So I still need to do that tomorrow so I'll probably show you some more Christmassy ornaments and stuff that I'm going to put out tomorrow. But there's no point in me getting them all out now because then the other ornaments are just going to take up space and yeah. So I'll finish this off in the morning. I'm going to dip to home bargains in the morning. I'll record anything Christmassy that I find for Vlogmas Day 2. Um, I need some tea bags. Uh, I have no tea so I can't have tea for breakfast so I definitely have to go out to the shops first thing in the morning. I'm going to get another candle for my candle holder. That, that's my last gingerbread one which just ran out from Home Bargains, the best one. Because last year we didn't even put a tree up so it's nice to have it up literally on the 1st of December. But yeah, there's a lot going on in here. Like I need to take that tail down, I need to put all those chairs in the garage. There is a lot in here right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first day of Vlogmas. I hope I made it nice and Christmassy for you. I am so excited for December. I just really do want to make this the best December ever. I feel like every year I start with the right intentions and then it just flies by. So we got the tree up day one. Like grab, grab December by the baubles guys. I am excited for this year. I really am. I've got a good feeling about this December, this whole Christmas season. Um, yeah. It's going to be a good one. So I hope you enjoyed the first day of Vlogmas. I hope you enjoyed your first day of December. Let me know if you guys have got your tree up, when you're going to put it up. And come back tomorrow for day two of Vlogmas. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye.